Hello YouTube, I'm Pilot Stud and welcome back to another Microsoft Flight Simulator news video. A bit of a different video today, I've compiled all of the Microsoft Gamescon 2021 Xbox trailers for Microsoft Flight Simulator which showcase some products coming to Microsoft Flight Simulator including a very interesting aircraft and of course World Update 6. There's plenty of freebies showcased in this video, most notably the Renault Air Race. I won't be talking through the trailers, I'll be giving my thoughts after them. We're now starting off uh, with World Update 6 and that trailer. I hope you enjoy this video and if you do, be sure to like, comment and subscribe. But now let's take a look at trailer number one. So there was trailer number one, some beautiful uh, previews from World Update 6, which is Austria, Germany and Switzerland. What sticks out for me there is Heligoland in Germany, a little island and that looks really fun to fly around. And of course the Matterhorn Mountain in Switzerland, certainly interesting because we've already got many uh, freeware sceneries for that so what do you guys think leave your thoughts down below i'll probably be a bit more of an analysis on what we see on that trailer on another video but that's not really the point of this video let's move over to trailer number two now which i think is certainly very unique looking at a future concept aircraft let's take a look So certainly an interesting aircraft there. Just some background, the Volocopter is a unique aircraft, of course it is. Um, it's powered by 12 rotors, hasn't been released yet, but I do believe it's kind of a concept aircraft hoping to be in production probably in the next 10 years. Um, it's designed to air taxi around major cities, of course we see it in France here, from Voloports of which we do get a little look at, a course taking off vertically and landing vertically and it's powered on electricity, making it a pretty suitable mode of transport uh, to carry people around cities. We're now going to move over to another aircraft trailer, which is a vintage aircraft all the way from Germany. Let's take a look. <laughs>
So that aircraft there was the Junkers GU-52, a German aircraft which first flew in 1930, so very old. It is simply beautiful and to be honest I think it's a lot to be excited for. I think it deserves a video on its own. The developer, Georg Newman, who is the head of Microsoft Flight Simulator, said he wants the pricing to be as affordable as possible. And for all of you worried about Microsoft Flight Simulator drawing resources away from main development, do not fear, it's covered by a separate dev team. It's hoping to be released in early September, so it's really not far away. You also notice there it said local legend number one. This means we should have multiple aircraft like this come over. Who knows what this could mean? This is a lot of speculation, but having local legend number one probably means there's going to be more local legends, something I think we can all get very excited for. This means we'll probably see regional aircraft that are special um, to certain regions of the world that aren't often covered in Microsoft Flight Simulator or Flight Sims as a whole. Of course, starting off with Germany, where else will we see? South America, probably, uh, and Asia. A lot to get excited for here, I think. The cockpit does look pretty good, although coming from a Sobo, it's got not going to be study level, but hey, it still should be pretty good, um, and it will be released alongside World Update 6 on the 7th of September, or at least we hope so far. Now let's move on to our final trailer, which is a bit of freeware, um, and it comes as a result of a partnership. With Renault Air Racing in real life, we get a brand new multiplayer experience. Let's take a look at this unique trailer. Let's go. So I think the term blink and you'll miss it certainly applies there, it's certainly a teaser, let alone uh, a trailer. Renault Air Race in real life is of course a massive air event, officially known as the National Championship Air Races, it's a multi-day event um, tailored to the aviation community or so as Wikipedia says, a big event in Nevada basically with loads of aircraft races. Now you do notice we had a, what I think was a Mustang there, and of course that's not a default Microsoft Flight Simulator aircraft, although I do think we had that in Flight Sim X. So who knows what that could mean, I think we've already got a Payware P51 Mustang, um, so who knows, maybe they're just using that, but what it does show is a new level of multiplayer. The head of Microsoft Flight Sim once again confirmed we'll have wing to wing precision uh, with this and of course it needs to be wing to wing precision for multiplayer events like this so maybe multiplayer tracking will be getting an update but not too much to talk about here it's just something to bear in mind and once again it's speculation i hope you've enjoyed all these trailers from gamescom 2021 a lot to talk about and a lot to get excited about and it really could change microsoft flight simulator in so many ways what are you most excited for leave it in the comments Anyway, from me today, that is all. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to like, comment and subscribe. As well as that, thank you to my first class channel members. They really do help me out. And if you want to become one, click that blue join button. They get an exclusive shout out at the end of the video. Thank you to Captain Matt Russell, Jesse Wiseman, Simon Schmidt, Ethan Rubeck and Owen K. You guys really do help me out. On top of that, I'm running a charity uh, fundraiser ending with me doing a skydive raising money for two awesome charities anyway from me today that is all bye bye the charity donation link is in the description see you guys